Now, some people have asked about the magnetic loop I was using with the IC705 the other day. Uh, I'll explain the loops I used. I'm not going to go into the theory of magnetic loops. Uh, they're quite simple. Basically, a, a small loop uh, coupled to a, a larger loop. The larger loop is resonated with a capacitor. I'm just going to go into the mechanics of the loops that uh, I made and used. Now the first thing to notice here is that loops can be round, hexagonal, octagonal or even square. Mine a square. The loop is made out of 1 cm by 3 mm aluminium strips which you can buy in Bunnings. The dimensions of my loop are about 65 cm on an edge. The black box you can see there contains the variable capacitor to tune the loop. The vertical element you can see there is actually a fiberglass rod and it's purely mechanical. It serves no other purpose other than to support the loop. This is the feed loop for my magnetic loop. It's made out of a piece of brazing rod. The rule of thumb is to make the feed loop about one-fifth the dimension of the main loop. So in this case it's about 13 centimetres on an edge for the feed loop and it's fed with coax and a piece of uh, printed circuit board just fed directly at either end of the loop. At the base of the loop there's a piece of plastic and I've put a quarter inch threaded camera mount there so I can mount the loop on a normal photographic tripod. The antenna is fed with about five meters of RG174 terminated with a BNC connector. So here's an overall view of the magnetic loop. That fiberglass stick is nothing other than a mechanical support for the feed loop. You can see the feed there and in this case I've made it adjustable in relation to the main loop so that I can adjust the coupling. It tends to be a little bit over coupled at the lower frequencies. And here's another close up of the feed arrangement. Just the coax terminated, the inner to one side and the outer to the other. Now here's a look at the tuning arrangement, simply a variable capacitor connected across the open ends of the big loop. You'll see there a flexible coupling and the reason for that is not for mechanical reasons but because there are very high voltages across the tuning capacitor with a magnetic loop even with low power applied. The plastic flexible coupling provides insulation from the high voltages across the capacitor. There's also a small reduction drive fitted to this particular tuning unit to make tuning a little bit easier. You'll also notice a switch which is used to switch in additional fixed capacitance to extend the tuning range of this particular loop. This is a 6 meter version of the magnetic loop, exactly the same principle, some aluminium strip and a variable capacitor connected across the open ends of it. You'll note the ceramic insulator on the shaft of the capacitor to isolate it from the tuning knob. And uh, there we have it, a couple of uh, quite straightforward, easy to build magnetic loops ideal for QRP and portable use. Mm -hmm.